I hope you're in a school in London. I hope you enjoyed this film about Box Hill in Surrey. It's about sustainable development and it's our case study. Box Hill is a park owned by the National Trust. The National Trust is a UK charity with some three million members. Where is Box Hill? Box Hill is located about 20 miles southwest of central London. Let me show you on the Ordnance Survey Get a Map website. Box Hill is part of the North Downs, which is a line of ridges stretching east to west. It lies close to the M25 motorway, which circles London. The town of Dorking sits nearby to the southwest. The A24 passes through the Dorking Gap along the line of a Roman road called Stane Street. The River Mole flows north through the gap. The Box Hill Visitor Centre sits near the summit of the ridge with steep slopes to the west and the south. You can see the steepness of the slopes from the contour lines because they're close together. Why is it important to conserve this area? The park is very popular with day visitors. Box Hill gets about a million tourists a year. It is well known for the box trees which grow here. The woodland is mixed with oak and yew included. It is used by groups of school children. We came in 2008 and 2009 to study the impact of tourism. If it was not conserved, it would probably be developed by house builders. It was bought in 1912 and given to the nation by one man to protect it from house development. It is an area of outstanding natural beauty and a site of special scientific interest, so it is protected by British law. The chalk downland is a rare habitat, supporting rare and endangered species like butterflies. Species? Nine. And what kind of species? Of what? Grass, grass, clover. Great. You, have you written them down? Um, can we write the species down? Yes, please. How does the National Trust manage the park to sustain it for future generations to enjoy? Why, why would we want Box Hill is an open site. The National Trust have to find a balance between conservation and tourism. They have only four full-time staff on the site. They have a large number of volunteers who help them with school groups and with keeping the site clear of litter and well-maintained. So how often are your shots ruined by people walking in front of your camera? The fencing and seating around the car park and visitor centre are made of natural wood and unpainted. The car park generates some income. The ticket machine is solar powered. They use natural materials wherever they can. Trees that have been cut down are used as barriers in the car park. Some tree stumps are left as a habitat for insects, ants and beetles. Donkey Green is kept as an open area for picnics. We came on a school day, but there would be families here on a weekend. They do not use machinery to cut the grass. They have a herd of sheep and some cows to keep the grass down. It's called conservation grazing. This type of grazing helps to protect the habitat. It's, an, it's a natural process. Chica, chica. 
The National Trust leave most of the paths unpaved, natural, and pave the most popular paths. We made a study of the erosion by tourism on the Burford Spur path using quadrats. The path has been in use for hundreds of years. Jane Austen referred to it in her book Emma. There's a whole lot here. <laughs> that makes 12% so far. Those little bits. Okay, let's just say 1%. There's, there's pretty much uh, quite, there's like 90% of the uh, Guys, I'll count the hard bits. One, two, three, four, five. And guys, I would say there's about 10% other. Seven, eight, yeah, I just count out quick draws. Yeah. Apparently, a, a couple of times a year, so um, uh, people fall down these slopes and they have to be rescued by the fire brigade. No surprise. Okay, I've got an idea. The path has bare rock and soil down its centre. When it rains, the surface runoff adds to the erosion from the trampling of countless feet. The path runs northwest from the summit down towards the railway station at West Humble. The old fort has been vandalised with graffiti. It is an area out of sight from the servery area. They were just going to sacrifice to France, basically. But they were going to protect London using 13 of these. They're all slightly different, they're all different. Oh, that's a nice story. And they thought...